Hello viewers, this is Bot Sailor's official YouTube channel and in this video I'll teach you how to create a simple WhatsApp chatbot and use multimedia elements in your bot such as audios, videos, files and images. So let's get started. So as you can see this is Bot Sailor's dashboard and from here I'll navigate to Bot Manager and then click create button which will redirect me to the visual drag and drop flow builder as you can see and today i'll talk about text element image audio video file and also interactive so let's add the trigger words such as hello hi and i'll add bonjour i'll add a title since i assumed this to be a hotel bot i'll just write hotel bot and save the changes well here i'll use a text element and add a welcome text and i'll write Welcome to Hotel La Petite, where every moment is crafted for your delight. And save the changes, organize it, and then I'll use an interactive element. And I'll write, how may we enhance your stay today? And here I'll add an image that looks like a welcome image and save the changes. It is always suggested to add images in our bot because it looks better. And I'll add buttons. You can add maximum of three buttons with your interactive. You can clone it or just drag it from the interactive. As you can see, I'm connecting the buttons with the interactive and organize it. Well, here I'll give the button options. The first one is opulent hold, select send message, save. In the second button, I'll write gourmet breakfast, select send message, save. And in the third option, I'll add check in and out, select send and save. Organize it. Let's handle the option button. Well, here I'd like to show you, you can use any element from this button or simply by, by clicking the right side of your mouse or even you can just drag and drop the elements in your chatbot surface and connect it to the previous button just like how I did it. I'll show you another example. Okay, so let's handle the opulent pool. How we will spot? I'll use interactive and write wonderful choice. Our swimming pools are a true oasis of tranquility. If you would like to book a poolside cabana or check the pool's availability, please let us know and we will be happy to assist you. And I'll save the message after adding a video of the pool. I chose to add this video to give it a more realistic look and as you can see here you can add image up to 5 MB and audio video up to 16 MB and files up to 100 MB the sizes are mentioned organize it now I'll add buttons with the interactive and write full size cabana select send message and save and give another option book a full side and save it well here i'll just give a random text for full side cabana just like it's not available or something like that save it and now i'll use the user input flow button to take the customer's information to book a full side and since i have made another video on user input flow or a overview of making chatbots you can see the video to see how to use user input flow and use custom fields and system fields. So here I'll just show you how to use the multiple choice question in your user input flow. And for the, for the other details, you can see the other video, which is the overview of making chatbots. So let's handle the book a pull side button. I'll start with giving a text option. All right, great, let's get the process started. And here I'll use user input flow. Give a campaign name. Campaign name reflects the purpose of the user input flow. 
as I have already mentioned in my earlier video, the first question and use free keyboard input and save it. In the second question, I'll use the multiple choice one and write create. Could you please provide the date for your reservation and I'll give you three options like today, tomorrow and any day next week and I'll save it and it will send mul multiple choice to the customer and again free table input. And lastly, I'll add a thank you message after receiving all the information. So now let's handle the other buttons that are provided while creating this bot. At the beginning, let's handle the gourmet breakfast button. Now here I'll show you how to add audio file to your bot. You can just click from next and add the audio or you can just drag and drop from the menu the audio element and I'll go ahead and add an audio file. So if the user clicks gourmet breakfast, they will be sent with this audio and after that I'll use another interactive and write please choose any of the action below to see the menu or make a reservation for breakfast at a specific time and save it and i'll provide with two buttons and firstly human assistant this is in case the customer wants to book a reservation well, in this point, I'd like to say that I'll add a system default action button and assign this chat with the human agent and select chat with human when you select chat with human or assign a conversation with the agent. The agent is supposed to get a notification in the email and in a later video, I'll show you how to assign the human agent in your chatbot and how they get the notification even if they're not online or in the live chat. Okay, so let's continue to the video. Chat with human. I'll give another option. Breakfast menu. Select send message saying, oh, well, let's handle the breakfast menu button. I'll just give a text reply. and send a photo for the menu and organize it. Let's handle the last button that is take in and out. Well, here I'll add a PDF file containing all the details for check in and take out. And before that, I'll add a message and I'll write certainly explore this document containing our detailed check in and check out procedures. If you have any additional questions or need further assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. Enjoy your stay with luxury at hotel. La Petite and save the changes. Now I'll add a PDF file with my text message that will send along. I'll add a PDF file containing all the details for take-in and take-out. As you can see, I've already added it and you can also provide file URL. As you can see, our bot is done. I have added images and video, audio, file, possibly everything in this video and also used user in the flow. I saved the bot as you can see the successfully that bot saved successfully. Well, uh, this is my own personal account and I'll just check if the bot's working perfectly and I'll send a message. As you can see the bot replied and here's the welcome text. I'll select a pool and pool. And here the bot replied with the video that I added with this text. As you can see, it's also playing. And I'll choose book a 
pool side and it started taking my information as I added questions using user and flow. I'll use the multiple choice tomorrow and provide with my phone number. Since it's working perfectly, let's check the other buttons. I'll select Kumin Breakfast. As you can see, it has provided with two buttons and the audio that I added with this reply. And I'll choose Breakfast Menu. And it has sent me the menu that I added at the end of the text. I'll just choose Check In and Check Out and see if it's working perfectly. Yes, it has given me the PDF file. Let's just open it. As you can see, it's opening perfectly. So let's get back to the bot manager. Well, here I'd like to show you the action buttons. As you can see, there is chat with human. And since I have used chat with human button in my bot, from here, you can craft and edit your chat with human button and decide how you want it to reply when you select chat with button. Well, this is all for today's tutorial. I'll show up with another tutorial showing how to assign to human agent and how the agent receives notification by email and how can you set it and as I said, upon selecting the human agent, the bot automatically pauses the reply and I'll also show how to continue the bot reply and why it is important. So stay tuned for the upcoming tutorials and you can surely comment below if you need any specific tutorial on any specific feature that I just showed in my bot. And that's all for today. Thank you very much for watching.